We are having a pretty good autumn. Nothing white here, but lots of color from Sioux and Lock Haven. Here are from Randy and Trish Muniz near Muncie. A morning powered by the sun brought color aplenty and Bonnie Johnson and Terry Township captured it. But you just had to know that all would end. Proof here from Carl Holweg in Clark Summit. Ice crystals as seen from inside his truck. Carol Sizdek in Barnesville thought this scene really cool in temperature and for the small white hills alongside the road. A sunrise also feels kind of chilly in this Linda Repco offering from Lake Ariel. Chuck from Cogan Station had a visitor sampling the bird food. Any port in a storm, eh? The snow we have had so far has given us some interesting images. Some lovely captures deserving of a spot on our walls. View over Mansfield from Jim. Catherine Kelchner and Berwick thought the Jackson Mansion looked especially warm and inviting, blanketed by snow. The snow, as light as it was, still changed the ordinary to the extraordinary. Dr. Stephen Cheskevich of Harvey's Lake sent this. Avis Miller of Berwick captured a favorite barn in Jonestown, framed in white. Darlene Engel of Lewisburg saw a farmer's field in Union County has been put to bed till spring. Still, some subjects remain for someone like Rick Lieber of Eagles Mirror to find over the Susquehanna River. So we hold on to fall by a thread, as here from Carol Elliott in Mount Cobb. We hope it won't get very bad in winter, but if it does, we always have our cameras to capture it. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.